Oh, wrong way. What's up? It's been a long time since I've done an actual normal fucking vlog. I am in my lounge room, so I've got better lighting than my room. It's more warmer colours in here. My room is very dark and blue. Um, the point of this is to say that I'm going on what is called a keto diet or an Atkins program, essentially. Uh, you're not going to see this video for a long goddamn time, probably. Uh, I'm not even sure if in the end I'll be uploading this because of the fact that it could very well fail. But if it does fail, just know that you never cared. If it did work, then you're watching this and thank you for supporting me. I will be reducing the amount of videos being recorded, which you'll probably be seeing on the channel, but maybe increasing the amount of streaming uh, that I do on Twitch or on YouTube, because I have not tried streaming on YouTube before, and I think it'd be a cool idea. But the point of this is basically to introduce the rest of this video which is going to be my progress of being on the Atkins program which is essentially a keto diet and a keto diet is something that I kind of like the sound of considering I don't eat the most amount of fruits and vegetables considering of my, my appetite and hunger so it's empty calories that don't stick with me for long and I don't feel full so I eat more of it as well as I just don't like that sort of dieting or programming the keto and Atkins program seem to work well for me or it looks like it would work well for me uh, plus I can do a lot of that easy by the way sorry for this it shouldn't be in the rest of this video if I can got cut right on my lip yeah gross regardless um, I'll check in with you guys in later maybe in a week or two's time maybe even longer and my goal is 95 kilos with muscle. I'm a 183 centimeter man from Australia whose metabolism has been fucked up since I was seven years old because Nutella was a thing. I am currently 118, basically on the dot. Um, I've been going to the gym consistently for two years. I haven't been for the last three weeks because of family issues and my gym membership ran out and I didn't want to get a gym membership while having family issues. So, I'll be getting my gym membership t today or tomorrow, as well as starting back on that, as well as starting the Atkins at the end of this week in the start of next week, and today is a Wednesday. Because um, I need to prep everything and make sure I am prepared to start this, because i got to make sure I don't have a fuck ton of carbs, essentially. Um, I am 183 centimeters, I am 118 kilos, and I can easily get to 108, but that's when I hit a wall and I can't get down lower. If I'm just working out, I can get to 108 easily. That's an easy thing I can do. Um, it's getting past 108 and down that I struggle with. So, I'm starting off this whole Atkins Keto thing, going into ketosis, doing a water detox, um, and I'm a day and a half in now and I'm starving. But, that's just a part of it. That's not a part of the Atkins program, it's just something that I'm doing added on. Uh, and then, <clears throat> at the end of that water thing, I'll be eating regularly for a couple days, and then starting the Atkins thing. Well, in those couple days, I'll start trying to go lower carb and stuff and start to ease into it, and then start it on the Monday, right after this week has ended. But, the point is, it's going to be a little while before I pop back in with you. Because, yeah, so I'll be taking some shots just in the mirror, because actually you can see what it looks like right now. Actually, we'll go into my mum and dad's room to save a huge fucking mirror. When it comes to how I look, I don't look that bad when I have clothes on like this. You know, it's not too bad. I'm a bit chunky. It's the love handles that piss me off the most, as well as the man titties. That's the part that I don't like. When the whole time I've been at the gym, my main aim is to get the back like looking good, like my shoulders and shit. But this is what it's like without a shirt, and I've not done this besides to a couple people on Snapchat that I show progress photos to when I was doing a gym a lot. So that's what I am like that. And to a lot of people that doesn't seem big, but to me it is, because that's also me not trying to suck in, but also not pushing it out. Sucking in is like that, but it's also harder for me to breathe. Pushing out is like that. So it's a big difference, and I don't like the belly, I don't like the hips sort of thing. If it was more of the belly, it wouldn't be as much as the hips, because it makes everything pull up. It makes everything pull up. I don't like it. So I'll keep in touch with you guys in the coming weeks and shit. 
as well as some still images that I'll take from my phone and add into everything as well. Okay, this is a week later, essentially. Uh, this is the next Monday after that. I've even managed to get a blood checker. My girlfriend is diabetic, so she has a spare ketone checker. I just need to buy test strips. So, my ketones, like a week after starting, is 1.1. Uh, you want to be about 0.6 to 1.5 on the lower range and 1.5 to 3 is optimal for weight loss. But it's only a week in and I've got a lot longer to go. Um, I'm just looking up a lot of shit about what to eat, what not to eat, what to avoid, what not to avoid, what fats to avoid, what fats to consume, all that sort of stuff. Um, I didn't know there were so many Omegas. I literally thought it was Omega-3, that was it. But, body fat percentage in just the week, uh, I started at 32.7 or, so, or something, um, I'm now 30.2, so it's good, it's a good start to it. There's a big ass daddy long legs. Mate, get out of my house. Just cause it's winter doesn't mean you can stay here. I'm about to make myself a keto coffee. It's not a bulletproof coffee, but it's an extension of a bulletproof coffee. Instead of just using butter, it's butter with cacao powder, MCT oil, and yeah, those are the two added ons. Um, I use Stevia, not Splenda. Um, my food has consisted of actually, I use I usually with a lot of the normal diet and crap. You try and avoid fat as much as possible. So when you buy bacon, you buy shortcut bacon. And shortcut bacon is this. And on this, like, program, you require to have more fats. And the good kind of saturated fats that are like in bacon. So it's a good thing to eat. But it's, shortcut doesn't give you enough fat because it's so lean. Which is what I'm used to having. So I have to start eating middle bacon, which is this. Or streaky bacon, which is this, and I'm just not used to it. I'm, I'm, I so much like shortcut bacon better. It's so much nicer, but I kind of got to get used to this now. Um, my breakfast most mornings have considered of a chia pudding. Uh, it's a fairly easy one. It's nice, um, but yeah, there's no much update on photos or anything like that that you would have already seen. Um, but that's just general food is consisting of bacon. Uh, chicken as well as a, f a few veg like a lot of cauliflower uh, and broccoli and I'm, I don't like asparagus but I have to deal with it um, and just other good vegetables like that uh, but yeah see you back in another week and I'll let you know how my ketones are then and how everything else is going week one is down hard week now, to stay with it. Bye. Hi. It's been two Mondays since, well this is the third Monday since I last updated you. I last updated you on my second weekend. I'm now on my fifth week. Yeah, this is my fifth Monday. Oh, no. Fifth completed Monday. No. I've done five weeks, essentially. I've done five weeks. Um, and I started at 117. Oh, let's let's get my because you guys know because this is probably all one video. There's gonna be a second part to this video. However, um, I was basically 117 with a 32% body fat. Um, and I just fed myself this morning and I'm 110.4 with 29% body fat. Now the body fat percentage thing is a bit iffy sometimes. It doesn't completely calculate it properly, but it's generally accurate. Um, I've lost three kilos since I last weighed myself, which was six days ago, apparently. Um, and I haven't really done much. I worked out last night, uh, and I worked... That's it. I didn't, I've only worked out once this week. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put you on something and check my levels. Ha! Ugh, so... I've got my little ketone checker, blood ketone checker. Um, I've never been higher than 1.1, uh, and 
Last time I checked, I was 0.7. So I've never been in huge ketosis, but I'm not really trusting the, the monitor that much because as a lot of people have said that you can burn through your ketones faster than you make them. So they don't show up as easily in your testing, which I get. I feel like I should still see a bigger number, but you know, that happens. So I'm gonna put this little measury thingy into the little device senator thingy. Turned on? Yeah, turned on. Cool. Now I just need to add my blood. I don't know how well you can hear me because you're actually kind of far away. Uh, fucking, we'll go. Pointer finger hurts. I think the pointer finger is usually hurts a bit more, but for some reason that didn't hurt that much. I got a nice amount of blood there. Look at that shit. Yeah. Let's so, do it so you can see it. Point six, yeah, um, again, for some reason I just don't get higher. I've just taken that as the fact that I'm burning too much of the ketones that I'm seeing. That could be because I'm not ingesting enough healthy fats, or my carb intake is too high for it to produce enough ketones. Not carbs, um, protein, I don't know. My my diet has actually been pretty, I've been able to keep it at a certain level. It's been 4% carbs uh, and between 20 and 25% protein and then the rest is made up of fat. So it's like, what, 73, maybe, I think, no, 70. It's, my fats have usually been between 70 and 77. So it's not like weak source fucking uh, where, I, where some people go to 60% but it's definitely not therapeutic where people go 90% um, because that's fucking insane uh, I'm tempted to actually try therapeutic for a week and see what that does um, my blood tasted sweet that time go down uh, anyway I'm tempted to try therapeutic for a week to see what that does if I get a better ketone reading because if I get a better ketone reading from therapeutic then great. Uh, it might just be the fact that I'm not ingesting enough fats and I can try 80% minimum fats and then see what kind of ketone reading that gives me. But it's been working for me and I've not been getting higher than 1.1. I consistently keep getting 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8 which is fucking retarded, I think. Um, but, who knows? I do need more strips, because I only got two more left. But I only check them, like, once a week, really. Because, constantly seeing a lower number is very discouraging. But yeah, so I'm gonna take a couple photos for the progress shot, I'll leave them in the video. So, be nice. Uh, Tasha, she's noticed a bit, with like around my hips and waist, that it's lowered and gotten smaller, which is good. But other than that, ugh, nothing else has really changed. <sighs> so, let's go take these photos. Actually, I should do it with my phone because, yeah. So this, this is actually going to be made into two different videos. In my mind, it will be the first part is this first five weeks. Second part will be the next five weeks. Because a lot of people do it for a ten week period or about three months. Um, I'm going to see if I can do three months to begin with. If I can get three months, then I'll try six months. And then from there, depends on 
if I think I need it anymore or if I convert back to a lower carb. But yeah, this is my keto cut, my keto diet, my fucking LCHF. Uh, but yeah, photo time. <laughs>